has ear flaps instead of ear holes and is the most social of its kind by gathering in groups of over a thousand? Well, grab your snorkels and swim gear because we're going to the beaches of the West Coast to find out on this week's episode of Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. Now today we're going to go swimming with the California sea lions. California sea lions are in the order Pinnipedia or Pinniped. Pinniped means flipper footed and it refers to carnivorous marine mammals that have front and rear flippers. This order includes seals, sea lions, and walruses. Now California sea lions, known by their Latin name Zolophus californius, are sleek marine mammals that are actually faster than any other sea lion or seal. They are pinnipeds, which means they have rear and front flippers that they use to pull themselves up on the land and walk. These guys can actually congregate in groups of over a thousand in what is known as either a colony or a rookery. These guys love to eat. They are carnivores, which means they only eat meat. Now, since they spend so much time hunting underwater with low light levels, their eyes will actually reduce down to a pinprick to, re to protect their eyesight from the harsh glare of the sun. Their ear flaps, which is actually a sea lion telltale, will actually fold when they're underneath the water to protect their hearing. And it also helps to streamline under the water as well. Now their hearing is exceptional above and below the water. Now, California sea lions will actually eat fish, squid, and octopus. They'll even invade fisheries for an easy meal. These guys will eat over 50 species of fish, and even though they have fearsome canine teeth, they actually prefer to swallow their prey whole. Male sea lions are actually a lot different than female California sea lions. Male sea lions can grow to be over 850 pounds and grow to be over seven feet long, whereas female California sea lions will grow to be about 220 pounds and seven feet long. At around five years of age, males will start producing a crest-like bump on their head that is known as a sagittal crest. Adult males are actually more of a chocolate brown, where females and immature males are more of a golden brown. This is what's known as sexual dimorphism. Oh, yeah. Now, sea lions can actually live to be about 15 to 20 years old in the wild, and in managed care, they can live to be 25 to 30. The oldest living California sea lion recorded was 31 years old. California sea lions are actually found from Vancouver Island, British Columbia, all the way down to the southern tip of Baja, California. Now, they will travel south to breed, and a female will be pregnant for up to 11 months. Now, they will give birth to one pup and then nurse that pup for six months to a year. Now, after a few weeks, the female will actually go away for longer and longer times to hunt while the pup goes off with other pups in the rookery. Now, when the mother comes back, she will actually know her pup from the other pups 
through a certain type of smell and distinctive calls that only she and the pup know. Now the pup will stay with their mother for up to a year, leave, and then at four to five years of age, they themselves will become sexually mature. Now, California sea lions will conglomerate in massive rookeries of over a thousand. Now, they prefer sandy beaches and they do this during breeding season. Males are polygamous, which means that they will mate with multiple females and bulls, or males, will constantly bark at each other to establish mates, breeding rights, and territories. Now, they'll use formalized movements to establish their boundaries. Now bulls will eat constantly so that way they can become bigger than the other bulls. Now the bigger the better and when fights break out between two bulls, sometimes pups are trampled in the process. California sea lions can even hunt for fish in the darkest pitch black waters. They use the whiskers on the end of their face known as vibrissae to pick up the most minute movements of fish nearby. And on land, their sense of smell is very acute. California sea lions have the incredible ability of slowing down their heart rate so that way they can stay underwater for up to 40 minutes. Now this gives them the advantage of catching fish, shellfish, and squid that live deep, deep underwater. California sea lions can actually dive to depths of up to 600 feet, but the deepest recorded dive for a California sea lion was 1,760 feet. Here's the question of the day. When a sea lion needs to cool their body down or warm it up, they'll stick their flipper up above the surface of a water in a process known as this. Is it A, finning, B, fanning, C, sailing, or D, pawing? It's actually C, sailing. They need to regulate their body temperature in a process known as thermoregulating. That's when they'll stick their fin above the surface of the water so that way they can either cool their body down or warm it back up. Sea lions will actually cluster together in the ocean so that way they can sleep when there is no suitable place to rest on land. A lot of people will call the Coast Guard or stranded mammal networks because they think that the sea lions are stuck together when really they're just trying to sleep. The only predators of California sea lions are killer whales, also known as orcas, and great white sharks. Kelly sea lions actually have an advantage over these predators because they are the fastest of all penny pads at 30 miles an hour, making those predators eat their bubbles. Now, California sea lions are actually used by the United States Navy as well. They're retrieval animals and assist in search and rescue operations. They even patrol areas in case of a threat. They're very easily trained and used in educational programs around the world for their amazing agility skills. California sea lions are not true seals. The difference is actually in their ear flaps and the way they walk. California sea lions will actually walk around using their forearms and their back flippers, where seals will actually have to belly flop to get their way around. Also, the difference is in the ear flaps as well. Now, California sea lions have true ear flaps where you actually have to look really closely to see the little ear holes on a seal. 
So the next time you see a seal on television or in the movies, now you know how to distinguish the difference between the two. All right, I'm glad we got to make a splash with the California sea lions today. Now, if you learned something about them or if you want to learn more about your favorite animal, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well. Now, if you are, sorry. Now, you can share this video with your friends who want to learn more about animals or who really like the California sea lions. Now, we also have a Twitter, an Instagram, and a Patreon as well. Now we're running a Patreon incentive for the first 10 Patreons and they will get a special shout out in the next video as well as special behind the scenes look at how we make our fun videos. As for the animal we'll be discussing next week, well, the joke of the week is on the bottom of the description and that joke is, what do striped horses like to teach? What do striped horses like to teach? And the answer is, Alzebra. <laughs> So next week, we're going to be learning about the Grevy Zebra on Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. Have a great week. Bye. Hi, everyone. Thanks for joining us for the conservation shout out. Now today's conservation fund we'll be talking about today is the Marine Mammal Center. Now they're located in San Francisco and since 1975 their hospital facility has rescued and treated over 20,000 elephant seals, sea lions, whales, otters, harbor seals, fur seals, dolphins and harbor porpoises and many more from threatened and endangered, threatened and being endangered. Now, they're always looking for volunteers, so if you live out that way near San Francisco, they are a nonprofit animal hospital and a research center dedicated to the rescue and the rehabilitation of marine mammals. And you can even call them if you find a stranded animal out on the beaches. Now, if you live in Hawaii and you see a stranded monk seal, they have a special number for that as well. Now, the website for the marine mammal facility is located in the description below. So thank you very much for joining us on this week's episode of Kiki's Fun Animal Facts. And remember, you can help save the planet by doing little things like turning off the lights that you're not using, recycling, and turning off the water while you brush your teeth. So thank you very much. Have a wonderful week. And remember, it only takes one person to change the world for the better. Have a great week. Bye.